Switching gears now, David, I, I want to play a hypothetical with you. Let's say you are a lead administrator on one of the four a ACC schools rumored to be plotting an exit in an impossible circumstance. I'm talking about Miami, Florida State, Clemson, and North Carolina. To buy yourself out of the ACC, it's been reported it's north of $100 million. And also there's this grant of rights, which means it costs an additional half a billion dollars to buy your home games television rights back. Uh, how do you get out of this conference? How do you plot your way out of this conference? It seems that they're probably talking to all their lawyers right now because college, the college football landscape is changing. The ACC leadership, such that it is, is making overtures to Stanford and California and SMU in a bid to compete with even the Big 12 at this point. How would you get out of this contract? There are things that you do when you want money, and the example is when young bands sign over their rights to managers or to studios who cut their first album, then they become successful, and all of a sudden the studios are the big bad people because – they signed a contract and the, the, the thought is, well, these kids didn't know what they were doing. Every ACC school knew exactly what it was doing when it signed the deal with ESPN. And you can ask our Metal Arc CEO, and he probably won't talk about it, but every single one of these schools took the money. You do not get one ounce of sympathy for me if you take the money and sign a deal, but then you're worth more and you're upset with your situation and you've fallen behind because you signed a contract earlier than other people. So you're paid an AAV smaller than other players. Not my problem. At the time you signed it, we didn't coerce you to sign it. We didn't tortiously interfere with your ability to do your business. We've done nothing wrong here. So ESPN is in good standing. John is in great standing, and I'm not saying that because we work with him when he's the boss. The ACC and Florida State, they can meet with however many lawyers they want. I've seen those contracts. I've negotiated those contracts. There's no outs. If you want to buy yourself out, there are numbers that are contained in the contract to get your grant of rights back in order to buy yourself out of a contract. And then it's a financial decision, and the numbers don't add up. So I do not see a scenario where any court – in any way will back up Florida State and their desire to try to get out of their deal early. If they want to leave the ACC, what is it, 2035 or something? 2036. 36, yeah. We're all going to be dead by then. <laughs> Who cares? No, what? Yeah. 2036? David, it's 100 degrees before 8.30 in the morning every day in Miami. We're, Miami's yeah. not going to have a football stadium in 2036, <laughs> please. That's like 2010. Maybe they'll just move it further north. I don't know. We're as close to 2036 as we are to 2010, which seems like yesterday to me. Oh. We're going to be around. We're going to be doing the show together, Jessica, in 2036. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm so mean to Jessica. <laughs> but, but, but the David, landscape of college football is going to be totally different by 2036. Right. No, it is. It's crazy how long the deal is for. There are also uh, reports, David, that Condoleezza Rice and George W. Bush are now getting involved in advocating for Stanford and uh, Southern neat. Methodist University to join the ACC. Um, if Condoleezza Rice or George W. Bush are calling your phone, how are you picking it up? Hello? <laughs> What's shaking? What's shaking? <laughs> What's up, Condi? Wow. George, good to talk to you again. Condoleezza, nice to meet you. The, uh, do you I think, guess I would say that. Do you think uh, the ACC leadership has been poor? They've been in the backseat the entire time while people like Brett Yormark, who just came to the sport, are eating their lunch. Uh, what uh, exactly could get ESPN back to the table. They had an opportunity, I actually think, with COVID to force Notre Dame into the conference because Notre Dame had no other way to play football. And it seemed as though, thanks to very strong leadership from Notre Dame's athletic department, they were able to save that off, get football, and not join the ACC fully. Having Notre Dame join the conference is pretty much the only thing that would get ESPN back to the bargaining table. Uh, or is there any way that the that e, that the ACC leadership can force ESPN's hand here 
to redo this deal because it's going to end up killing the conference. They can appeal to Jimmy, but force Jimmy to do anything? Absolutely not. There's no reason to do it. And again, you're saying eating their lunch. When ACC signed this deal, what were your comments when they did the ESPN deal? I didn't like it. I, I didn't like anything that was going to get the University of Miami stuck somewhere till the 2030s. When then why do you think Miami signed it? Because everyone else did. Oh, no, because they offered so much well, the money. Reason, the reason for all of this is the Longhorn Network, to be honest. Okay. I have a different view. ESPN does not have to do anything. They may just in the interest of justice, but they don't need to. Okay.